Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, welcome. This is your Heart Spread Read for mid-January 2022. A love, romance, and relationship read. And here I'm looking at you, the fool, and the person that's on your mind, coming in with the Four Swords energy. So this is the energy of where you're at in and around love and relationships here mid-January. And this uh, person that's on your mind. I kind of like to see this, pull it a little bit out from exactly the feelings you have in the relationship, which uh, are here, the Seven of Swords. And, you know, this kind of shows me, though, you're falling for someone. And this someone comes in with their energy being the Four of Swords, which is terrible energy to come into a relationship with uh if you're in a relationship, it means you're sick and having to take care of yourself and you're, you know, going to be really unavailable to anybody. Uh, now, if you're in a long-term relationship, that's what it's all about. Then maybe your partner steps up and takes care of you and et cetera. But for coming into a relationship, um, and I feel like with you having the fool, it's like you just kind of got sucked right into it. And I mean, like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry and you know some kind of caretaking relationship develop back very quickly uh with you uh giving them a lot of uh, empathy and i think like you could be saying like just falling for them um and uh falling for them meaning they're um not being well uh po probably not being really available um possibly being needy here um, the only other way this would go is that you were the ones that were demonstrating the Seven of Swords energy to them. In this case, it's lying, cheating, and stealing. If that's the case, of course, you would know. And they, they just intuitively understood it, and they're moving away very strongly uh, with the advice from Spirit here. This Knight of, Wand, Knight of Cups is moving out of the reading, however you look at it. And now you look over here, the advice from Spirit as a whole, for the whole relationship, the most important card you got the Eight of Cups, so um, you're letting go of uh, this relationship either way. Um, if they uh, cheated on you, and you could very well be in this, all I know here is that you're in the energy of lying, cheating, and stealing when it comes to them. This is how, when you think about them, what is your energy towards them? It's not good to have the Seven of Swords there. If it's strategic thinking on your part towards them, then and unless you bring it in, and you're not bringing anything in with the fool, you're wide open. So this is about them. They are giving you reason to think strategically, reason to question their, um, you know, truthfulness, you know. Um, and this could be them kind of manipulating you. There's an element of the high priestess. It's not all yum-yum. Uh, where it can be kind of spiritual, almost like manipulation, like maybe they're saying to you, uh, talking about the karmic aspect and how uh, you're meant to help them or something like this. And I think what you find out is with the seven of uh, uh, swords, I don't even have to, you know what it is. Um, this is you finding out for sure what's going on. Um, and really, when you think about it here, this is like the in response to the four swords. It's like it could be literally them telling you, well, I, I, I can't really you maybe you're not together yet. And they're saying, well, I can't see you this weekend because I don't feel good. And I'm really sick. I don't want to. Oh, I might have COVID or, you know, and I, I can't possibly, you know, put this on you. And then you find out that this was really uh, something else, you know, in terms of uh, affair or something like that. Um, and they're moving away from you and the feeling i get from them with the high priestess over the knight of cups um it it's a um booty call like uh um, but like a spiritual booty call like it came in with a lot of uh you know oh my god we're meant to be together and how much we resonate maybe you, you did and you know you do um in some way uh, same interest or something like that but ultimately, when it goes out, you know, it just feels to you like it was just, you were used. And this is why spirit, this is advice from spirit for the relationship at the whole, and that's to walk away from it emotionally. And no other way to read that. And your outcome is a broken heart. It's a five of cups. No need to overcomplicate that. You know, and when we're in this energy, usually it's no good to tell people, oh, there's two cups behind you, all you got to do is, you know, and there's a, turn around and pick up one and uh 
you still got choices and there's many efficiency and usually that that's not a lot of consolation what's kind of a consolation is your advice is a page of pentacles and this is to start over in a solid way this has a lot of meaning this page of pentacles and i think it's where this uh, strength card comes in as the bottom of the deck because this is what i call you know it's really kind of a failed uh, a relationship so all the advice goes to you here um, and it's really very simple it's like it, don't let it you know keep you from doing you and this is a uh, could be Taurus energy it doesn't mean you're immature or anything like that it could be giving them a message and the message is I release you to your highest good you know and really meaning it and then putting your energy into you into Taurus into the second house and moving on and emotionally moving away from this and accepting that the fact that you know it hurts when the relationships in and particularly maybe if you feel like you were used when I see strength it's a, it's a blessing I think we'll be blessed with strength so you, you will get through it you have all strength you're going to need for this mid January 2022 reading however this shakes out for you it does often to me kind of mean that you'll need the strength which I think you know you're probably feeling already um, here because um, it's uh, not easy okay I get it with the fool I mean you were you were probably all in so let me know what you think of that Taurus um, I hope that's helpful in some way and I do appreciate a like or if you haven't subscribed subscribe hit the bell thank you guys